Why, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, I wanted to share with you the best white pencil for your adult coloring. So I tested every last colored pencil in the color white that I have in my color pencil collection. I think this is every set that I have. I think it is, but if it's not, it's close enough, okay? <laughs> so here are all of my pencil sets. And this will give you a pretty good idea of what pencil sets I have. I did do a pencil collection, my entire pencil collection here. I will link that video if you wanna go and see that. But it is in two parts, so that will be part one. Then at the end screen, I will link part two, the forgotten pencils, the pencils that I don't use and that I actually forgot that I had. So that will be linked at the end of this video. But here are all of the pencil, different pencils that I have. And the reason I wanted to do this video and this comparison is because white pencils for me in adult coloring is very essential. I mainly use my white pencil to blend and to uh, cover the white spaces of my paper that I want to leave white. But I tell you to always put some type of wax or some type of product on that white portion. Don't just leave it white because that color can smear over into that section or if you're using pastels or some type of other medium that can get over in that section and let's say you have a red pot that you want to highlight for and then you do some green ground pastel soft chalk pastel if that blows near that red part where that white section you left paper clear if there is no protection or covering of any wax or oil product, then that green is gonna get on that white area and you're not gonna have a white highlight anymore. You're going to have a green highlight on a red flower pot, which you don't want. <laughs> so that was a little tip there for you, just in case you are ever like tempted to leave your coloring page highlight area uncolored, color it with some white pencil, just to put a little bit of wax on that area to protect the area you know, even if you're not planning on using pastels, you still want to protect that area from the other colors on the page because it can smudge um, unless you use a fixative. But most people don't use fixatives for color pencil work. Anyways, we're getting off topic. But here we come. We're coming back back. We're coming right back. We're coming right back. I promise. Here we go. Now, we are going to go through each one of these colors and you tell me which one, which ones, because some of them are like tied, which ones do you think are the best white pencils, opaque, white, beautiful pencils, according to what you can see? All right, so this is the Shuttle Art. And it's coming off on camera as being kind of opaque, but it's actually like really, really gray. So not really, really gray. It's It's basic. It's not the best. And it's not the worst. There are definitely some worse <laughs> sets on here where their white pencil needs to just go in the trash can, but we're not going to talk about that. So the shuttle art was okay. This is castle art. It was, it wasn't as good as the shuttle art. Let me put it up closer and see, will it, can you see it better? I don't know. Let me look at, oh. Off camera, the castle art looks less pigmented than the shuttle art, but then that's the shuttle art premium, not the shuttle art uh, full color barrel. That's the shuttle art premium quality black barrel pencil. Uh, the shuttle art color full color bar pen barrel pencil is more equivalent and excuse my nails I hadn't got a chance to clean my edges my cuticles with the acetone yet <laughs> it's more comparable to the hero well oh that's nice okay well you just look at it for yourself and decide which is best <laughs> because off camera it looks a little bit different but on camera it looks like better I don't know whatever okay so anyway, Castle Art, this is Starjoy. This is the Deli. 
This is the Crayola. This is Prisma. And you know, Prisma, they got it going on. So we're going to just, we got a gold star beside all the ones who <laughs> is just high quality, super duper pigmented. Koinor, Polycolor, mm, they are worse than the Crayola. Crayola has it better on the Koinor, which is, which I'm shocked. And the Blick actually is the same as the Koinor. Koinor is supposed to be Polycolor oil-based color pencil and the Blick Studio is supposed to be a wax-based color pencil, but they're both made in the Czech Republic and they both color the same. They feel the same. They have the same color names and I think they're made in the same factory and they must have gotten their signals mixed up. Mixed up. But you know, I told you, oil-based, wax-based, we know, we know, we already know. We already know. We're going to link it right here. We already know. <laughs> Fiber Castell Gold Fiber was very impressive they were oh my goodness they're almost up there with the prismas then we have fiber, fiber castell polychromos they are almost up there with the prismas not quite as opaque as the prisma but it's it's up there and i know a lot of you polychromos lovers are like nisi fiber castell polychromos is an amazing white well if you have the set you might know the white and the Fiber Castell Polychromos is not, it's not like the white in the Prismacolor. It doesn't go over something and just cover it completely. But of course, it's an oil-based pencil. Yes. Okay. Hero, Guanghui Hero uh, colored pencil. It's so-so. It's about the same as the Crayola. So the opaqueness in that is about the same as the Crayola. And just a little tip. A lot of you have been asking me to do a video on what are the same colored pencil, like budget-friendly colored pencils, which ones are exactly the same so you will not be wasting your money on buying the same sets. Well, I kind of alluded to that in the video that I just linked prior to mentioning this. Uh, I mentioned that a lot of the full barrel color pencils, like the One Shoei Brute Funner full barrel color pencils, Guang Hui, South Sun, uh, Sioux Color, what else? Uh, Shuttle Art, all of those that have that full barrel with that circle number. I'm I'm doing some research now to be able to produce that video for you, but from what I know, Fila. All of those pencils, although actually the Fila is a little bit lower quality than the Guang Hui and Wan Shui and Brute Fronter, but all of those except for the Fila are pretty much the exact same uh, formula of the colored pencil. But I'm trying to see if they're the exact same numbers like the Shuttle Art and the Brute Fronter. The Shuttle Art... Uh, black Barrel and the Brute Funner Black Barrel are the exact same pencils with the exact same color numbers. So I'm trying to compile the list of the pencils that are the same quality and the same color performance as like the Guang Hui One Shui Brute Funner full color pencils. But I don't think they're the same number system. So, and I actually have been informed by a latest Facebook post of a lovely, lovely lady who watches my videos, who asked my opinion on the Star Joy Deli and the Castle Art. And I'm not pointing to Castle Art. Oh, that's up there. Yeah. Castle Art and Star Joy pencils have the exact same color names, except for two of the colors in the Star Joy set is gold metallic and silver metallic. But the rest of them had the same color names and I found that very interesting so I pulled out my color chart and I pulled out all my pencils and I tested them and lo and behold they all were the same color numbers except Castle Art has two different colors but remember Castle Art is a budget pencil that's made in China and it's bulk produced so it's not surprising that they would have the same exact color names uh, as the Star Joy but they are slightly all oh, so slightly different in color and performance and feel. Um, and she mentioned, I understand that the Castle Art, how did this turn into a review of the Castle Art versus the Star Joy pencils? 
I don't know. This was supposed to be all about white color pencils. But I just wanted to throw that little tip in there for you, just in case you're interested. I'm going to do a complete review on that and a whole separate video, but I just want to throw that out there just so you can start rolling it around in your mind. But there is a slight color difference and the feel is a little bit different. And she was like, I understand one is oil-based, one is wax-based, but I don't want to get a duplicate set of pencils. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have to, I haven't really tested my Castle Art pencils completely, completely yet, like I've tested the Starjoy. But it, it seems that they are not the exact same pencil, but they're super, super close, just like your Hero pencils and your uh, Sue Color and Shuttle Art and One Shoey pencils are. Okay, moving back to the issue at hand. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Arteza white color pencil, which is pretty nice. I put a little, like a little blue dot on the ones that were right under the gold starred ones, which I feel is the best. So the best is a gold star. Second in line is a blue dot. And third in line is a green line. And nothing is by ones that I feel didn't even deserve. <laughs> Didn't even deserve a dot or a line. So next with a star, a gold star, is the Karen Dash Swiss color color pencil. And that's their school line color pencils. And look how opaque that color is. For a school line, Karen Dash just blows everything out of the water. Oh, hoo hoo color pencil, which is actually a dupe for the Marco Rafine. They don't deserve a dot because... It's not very good at all. Praying is even worse. Their white pencil. Now that doesn't mean the whole set of color pencils is bad or bad quality. It just means the white pencil to me defines a set. To me, if the white pencil is opaque, the rest of the color pencils will follow suit. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the whole set is crappy or bad. That just means that they're not as pigmented as others, which you don't expect the Crayola white pencil to be as pigmented as a Prisma pencil or any other color pencil, right? Next, we have the Papermate, which was surprisingly opaque. It got a blue dot. And something I found out is that the Papermate color pencils are made by Prisma Color. We'll talk about that later. Next is the Colore color pencils, no dots no lines crazy art mm -mm. sergeant art yeah and that's the sergeant art premium pencils that look just like the spira farben color pencils which is right underneath it and they are both in the same category next is the elves dolphin color pencils and they look a lot like the tombow color pencils where's a tombow in here i guess i don't have a white tombow hmm Guess I don't have a white Tombow pencil, but I have a few of the Tombows, but Elves Dolphin is a budget-friendly dupe of those. Next is Lyra Polycolor. They have a gold star because they're super pigmented. Super pigmented. Prismacolor Scholar, very pigmented. They have a blue dot. Derwent Color Soft, gold star. Leisure Art Premium Color Pencils. They are very soft core, very nice pencils, but the white pencil was not very pigmented at all. Marco Renoir. Okay, I've been toying with getting the Marco Renoir color pencils, but they're so expensive. They're not so expensive. They're like $60 for a hundred set and they don't have names on them. So I'm like, I don't want to pay $60 for a set of pencils. I'm kind of waiting until they start putting names on them before I get a set, but I don't know. We'll see. June Gold Mechanical Color Pencils. Horrible. But I'm just going to go ahead and say which pencils are the worst out of this whole set. And that's the Simply Art colored pencils that you can get from Joann's Fabric Store. They're in a yellow box. Absolute worst. The Stadler uh, Triangular pencils, uh, they were second worst. And then the Norris Club, Stadler Norris Club, they were they were pretty bad also. Next with another gold star is the Prismacolor Very Thins. 
uh, Faber Castell Eco Friendly and the Faber Castell Classics. Those are the same two pencils. Gold Star. Their white pencil was amazing. Crayola Color Blend, the signature line. They were amazingly opaque. I was shocked. Crayola Color Erase pencils. Bad. Crayola Twistables. Not as bad as the Statler and the Simply Art. Sevo colored pencils were pretty good. They have a green line, which means they are third place. Map it color peeps. They got a blue dot. I was shocked. And Amazon Basics color pencils. They got a blue dot. Again, shocked. <laughs> Fila, bad, bad, bad. Brute Funner, that's the dupe to the, or the exact same as the Shuttle Art. That's the Black Barrel. They got a line, but why didn't the shuttle art get a line? What is up with it? They look different. Talk about that in the comments. Woodless colored pencil by Koinor. It got nothing either because they're exactly the same as the Koinor here. Seven S woodless colored pencils. Nothing. Brute Funner square colored pencils. They got a green line. And last but not least. Those Luminance Karen Dash color pencils. I have fallen in love with those pencils. Shame on Jessica for making me fall in love with these pencils. But they, they're top notch. Uh, them and Prismacolor have the best whites. I'm looking, I'm looking. What do you think? Take a minute and see which one of these sets of pencil have the most opaque white. Looking through the camera lens, it looks like Luminance and Prismacolor and actually Fiber Castell Gold Fiber is actually looks more pigmented than the poly, Fiber Castell Polychromos. And that's probably because of the amount of wax and pigment that's in the pencil. That does not make it a higher quality pencil. The amount of pigment, the amount of, well, the, the light fast rating is actually what makes it a high, super high quality pencil. Not the amount of pigment, but the amount of pigment, pigment does not work. We have turned this into an art science class. That was not the intention. Let's stick to the point. Okay, so you've commented below already which one looks the most opaque to you? Who wins? Who wins? Let's say we have one winner, then we have one winner up, then we have a third place winner. So we have who's number one, who's number two, and who's number three. I will pin my decision or my choices in the comments below and you give me your choices. Then tell me also in that same comment, who's the loser? Who is the worst here? <laughs> I don't think you're going to have a hard time figuring that out. It's going, well, you know what? Don't even comment that. It's the Simply Art. They're the worst. <laughs> so you see how these look on black paper. That's pretty much how their pigment is in true color. A lot of them look gray. They don't even look like white pencils. They look like gray pencils or grayish blue pencils because they don't have a lot of pigment in them. So that's it. That's it. What do you think of this video? What do you think of this white pencil comparison? I think it's important to know how much pigment is in your pencils. And I feel they put like the amount of pigment that they put in one pencil. I think that's the amount of pigment they probably put in the whole set. So if the white pencil is highly pigmented, more than likely the rest of the pencil's pigmentations will follow suit. That's my thinking and opinion when it comes to choosing a pigmented and bright and brilliant color pencil. But that does not say that the lower pigmented ones are bad pencils. That definitely does not mean that because I absolutely love my Star Joys. I lo I'm loving my Crayolas these days. I love my Shuttle Art and... Let's see, who else has a, a horrible uh, white pencil? I love my Koi Nor Woodless. Um, okay, that's it. So, yeah. What do you think? Comment below.
If you enjoyed this video, please, please give it a big old thumbs up. That helps the video to be able to get out to more people. Share this video. If you feel that someone else can benefit from it, don't be afraid to share it. Share it in your coloring group. Share it with your friends or family that likes to color. And also, consider subscribing to the channel. That helps YouTube know to, to put my videos out to other people and that you are enjoying it also. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you will be notified of the next video. All right, my guys and gals, that's it. Have a wonderful rest of the day and happy coloring. Bye.